Okay, on page 309, we're going to start by putting our name up at the top, so make sure your name's at the top. Okay. Punctuation can show um, uh, emotion or emphasize an idea. So we're doing punctuation for effect. Ellipsis. To show tension or threat. Look how they've used it. Those three dots is called an ellipsis. It suddenly grew cold and a raging wind ripped the branches. What would happen? Okay. Exclamation. We know that shows strong an emotion. To show surprise, a huge flash lit the forest. There's our explanation. Okay, and then we have a dash. That's to emphasize. Lightning struck a pine tree. It was completely shattered in a flash. Okay, so we're going to go through these. We're going to do the first one together. It says... Read each sentence. Rewrite it with appropriate punctuation on the lines. Keep this section in mind. That's going to help you. Is it showing tension or threat to show surprise or to emphasize something? Okay. Rewrite it with appropriate punctuation on the line. Capitalize the first word in each sentence. So, number one, we are going to the Red Word Forest, an amazing place and we are really looking forward to it. Okay. Well, it's not tension or threat. And it's not surprise. This is emphasis. So what we're going to do is put we, whoops, we, are going to a redwood forest and I'm going to put a dash here an amazing Amazing place and we are really looking forward to it. And this, this does show strong emotion, so you could actually put an exclamation point here and that would be okay. Either way, if you end it with a period or an exclamation point, I would take it. But that's how you do that. So read through these next ones carefully. Decide which one of these you're going to use in them. Make sure they make sense. Really look at this section right here. Decide which category it fits into. Okay, if you need any help pronouncing words or have questions, come and see me. Now it is your turn.